Hi, I'm Jared from FNS Yamaha. Today I'm going to be showing you the 2019 Bennington 23 SSBX Premium Tritune boat. This boat comes with all the features that I will go over with you here today, beginning with the features of the boat itself. In the back, the real beast behind this boat is the 250 horsepower Yamaha Super High Output VMAX outboard. This six cylinder outboard with a stainless prop will move the boat about 45 miles an hour on the water, which is plenty fast for all your performance and water sports needs. This boat sits on a Shorelander galvanized bunk trailer. In the back, you can see the LED lights for the trailer. On the side, you can take note of the radial tires and aluminum rims. The trailer bunks themselves are equipped with quick slides to make unloading and loading the boat much easier. In the front of the trailer, we have a winch stand with a ladder as well as the spare tire mount for the trailer. This trailer is equipped with tandem axle brakes. Moving to the features of the boat itself, this Bennington to complement the 250 horsepower Yamaha outboard is equipped with a Sport Performance Plus package. Underneath the boat, you can see parts of this package, including the wave shield for the boat, as well as the lifting strakes on the bottom of the pontoons. Moving to the boat itself, up above deck, we have a ocean blue exterior color with a metallic silver accent. You can see on the side we have a heavy duty rub rail and just above that we have our LED docking lights and navigation lights for the boat. Moving up inside the boat now, the flooring for this boat is a beige woven seagrass vinyl flooring. The interior of this boat is a platinum color with an espresso accent. The espresso accent for this boat has a diamond pressed upholstery upgrade. The seats for this boat also feature an 80% cutout. Moving to the features of the seats, on the left side of the boat, all of the seats do open up for storage underneath. Currently under these seats, we have placed the fenders for the boat. You can also see in the 80% cutout, we have our upgraded kicker speakers. Across from that, we have a similar seating layout. This seat does feature a side recliner, however, which does open up for additional storage. And the other two seats have their own storage compartments as well. Moving now between these two seats in front of the helm just slightly, we have a floor storage space. This is actually the middle pontoon for the boat and does open up to hold large objects such as water skis or other large water sports equipment that you may need or want when you're out on the water. Moving now to the helm itself, this helm is elevated and as part of the Sport Performance System Plus package, this boat is equipped with Seastar Hydraulic Steering Assist. Underneath the helm itself, we have a lockable compartment, which does open up for storage. Currently in this compartment, we have the trapezoid table for this boat, which has been upgraded. Just above this compartment, we have a small interior courtesy light. Moving on to the helm, we have, as previously stated, our hydraulic steering with our steering wheel. On the dash, we have three gauges for your boat. We have the trim, tachometer, and fuel gauge for your boat, as well as all the accessory switches you may need, including horn, docking lights, and your bilge pump. The stereo for this boat has been upgraded. It is a kicker stereo system which features an auxiliary and USB input, as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Directly next to that, we have a 12 volt plug, which can be used to charge your phone or power other accessories for your boat. To the right of that, we have the throttle and controls for your Yamaha outboard, as well as the ignition. The helm chair for this boat has been upgraded. and does also feature the diamond pressed accent. Across from the helm, we have another portion of seating. This also does open up for storage. 
and the side recliner opens as well. Directly above us here, in the dimity for this boat, you will find Bennington's Blue Ice LED dimity lights, which provide a nice mood or accent lighting for nighttime use. Moving to the back of the boat now, you can see this is where the table for the boat would mount. Directly behind that, we have the swing back for this boat. The swing back can serve as a bench seat or a lounging sunbed. Currently it is set in the bench seat position, but all you must do is gently slide it to the other side. And now you have a full sunbed to lounge whenever you'd like. Underneath of the sun deck, we have a privacy enclosure. Simply fold out the bar. And once all the snaps are in place, you have a fully enclosed room for changing or other needs. To access the room, there is a zipper on the front. Closing that back up now. Around the entire sun deck, we have a small stainless steel rail. In the back, we have our deluxe Skeeto bar sitting on top of our Yamaha outboard. We also have a boarding ladder for the boat for getting in and out of the water. This boat has a 12 person maximum capacity and comes with all the features that I've shown you here today, as well as an ocean blue tweed mooring cover. This boat is currently on sale at FNS Yamaha and Marine.